Hey y'all, Miss Sainel here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we arrived back here in Rogueport after getting pointed into a direction for the next crystal star. Um, well, we're not quite ready for that yet because we still have a few things to do around town. I do think that I want to try to keep up with some of these. Uh, but there's a lot of them, so I can't quite promise that I'm going to be super good about it. But I might as well take one since we're going to be around town anyway. I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. That's not sketchy. Maybe behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Square. Which actually checks out because we're about to go there. That We might as well just... Uh, Take that and see what awaits us. So they're behind Zesty's house, which is on this side of the town. And I think we can access it from here. Because back here is all the sketchy stuff. All of it. Is this, are, is this you? Are we dealing with you again? Oh, we sure are. You never know who will be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfrey. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. Oh, I love I'm just going back and forth. The thing that Goomba asks you to deliver to Goomfrey. Cool. Money. Money. Approach money. Thank you. Okay, so, um... I thought that this was gonna take me, like, in front of Zesty's place, but I guess not. I might as well just go and do this really, really quick. Wait, are you Goomfrey? Oh, you totally are! You're literally- Oh, I thought he said behind. I think I got it mixed up with the last one that we just did. A package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way that no one will ever find it. Tell McGoomba I said so. And do me a favor. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give McGoomba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to McGoomba. We just- participated in a drug deal, didn't we? A hundred percent. That was absolutely a hundred percent a drug deal, correct? We're all in agreement, right? Anyway, um, I don't, I'm, I don't really know if a hero, quote unquote, should be, you know, running around and doing favors in back alleys and whatnot, but whatever, we did it, haha. -ha. You saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck, you, and my neck, you get something good. 30 more coins! Actually, if we do a few of these, we might be able to afford a really nice badge. Or at least a really fun badge. But now that we are next door to this, we can pick up our contact lens! And it's only 10 coins. And now that we have that, we can talk to Zesty. Did you bring my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? I sure did. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see you. I'm so happy. And there they go. Be careful from now on. People generally don't... Uh, don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. I mean... Yeah, I get that. But still... Well, now that we've done that, we can enter this house and Zesty will be here. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stomp-a-Lot? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic be uh, magic happens. Want me to whip, up so uh, whip something up for you right now? Yeah! Let's choose a mushroom. I'll cook up your mushroom! Do it. Wait a sec while I flex my culinary muscles! <laughs> Sorry, keep it waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but go on, take it, Stompy. So we have Mushroom Fry! It, instead of doing just, I think it's 5 HP, now it's 6 HP and 2 FP, which is not a bad deal. Uh, we can... 
cook a bunch of stuff. Yeah, do my honey syrup. Yeah, flex them muscles. Uh, oh, and we can skip it. Just press plus and it, it'll skip the animation, even though it is very cute. Uh, cures conditions like poisoning and replenishes 5 HP. So instead of just straight, uh, straight 5 HP, it's also conditions. Very cool. I'll do the other one too because there's literally no reason not to. Okay. Very cool. So, uh, I don't know how much I'll actually be doing this. There are a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of recipes that I'm really, I don't have it off of the top of my head because there are a ton. Uh, but we also can come back later for some extra options and I'm not going to be sweating it too much. Uh, that turned into spicy soup, 4 HP, 4 FP. I kind of would have preferred the fire flower by itself. But anyway, yeah, stop. I, I'm done. So now, even though we... Well, how, my, how many items do I even have right now? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven? Se oh yeah, seven out of 15. So yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to accept another quest and just see how this goes. Okay, what's the next one on the list? From Arfur, Competitor Research. This is Arfur, I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor shop, I need some research done. I need the price of Fire Flowers, Sleepy Sheep, and Tasty Tonics in Rogueport. Uh, meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. I, I, yeah, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and have to figure it out. Okay, fire flower is 10, sleepy sheep is A, and the tonic is 3. 10, 8, 3. Gotcha. Are you Arfur? <laughs> oh, yep, I sure did. You are Arfur. You were standing there already anyway. Oh, uh, fire flowers is 10 coins. That's such an obvious answer. Sleepy, ke uh, sleepy sheep, uh, 8 coins. Oh, a tasty tonic. How much is that? Uh, three coins. Ah, oh, that's rough. Those are some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm. Even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But it is certainly helpful information. Here's your reward. Good work. Thank you. I solved the trouble, which means I can go back in and take another one. Oh, it's just mm, mm, side quest central here. Goomther, hey, 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 my name is Goomther. Please find the guy that pulled off credit card, credit card fraud on me. I'll be in Rogueport Square, so come talk to me. Oh my god. Fraud exists in this world? I, mean, I guess it would. Credit cards exist in this world? Dang. All right, well, uh, so he's in Rogueport Square, which would be... The front area over here. Um, but now it's time to figure out which one. Is it you? No, I don't want to. Uh, no. No, don't talk to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look into your eyes. You? Sure is. You're going to handle my trouble, aren't you? Then listen up. Lars and the bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up for it, but this guy is too wise and I can never catch him. It's hiding somewhere in Rogueport, so I want you to find him. By the way, bandits are those guys in the blue outfits who wear masks. There's several in Rogueport, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this and you'll get reward. I'm counting on you. All right, I know that there are a few. Oh, uh, we'll just hop around and see who we can find. Was it you? Oh, it was him. Oh, it only took me two tries. Yeah, probably what are you looking at? You got busy with me. Scram. What? You want me to return the money I swindled? What are you? The fraud police? Sheesh, how did I let myself get caught? Oh, do I have to catch him now? Because if so, that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I talked to him. I, I, I tapped his shoulder and I let him know. Uh, I sure did. 
Oh, keep after until you catch him. Okay. So, yeah, I do have to just find him again. All right. Hey, you look suspicious. Crimes of fraud release. You don't give up easily, do you? You can't make me pay. I sure can. You want to bet? You want to bet, partner? Also, by the way, if I come over here and talk to this uh, rat-looking dude, hey, you're Mario. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity here. Oh, I know. You want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to, uh, to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please let me some money? Now, how can I say no to a face like that? I am invested. This is stupid. Thank you so much, you won't regret it. I, you know, just because you're so cute, I probably won't, but still. I'll keep accepting investments, so let's chat again in the future. How far is the future, huh? My dream is to get rich quick. This is not good. I can continue to invest, but no, I don't have enough. Wow, well, I'll be that way. It's your call. I'll be here for a while yet. In case you wanna, in case you come to your senses and want to invest, just let me know. Nah. Uh, anyway, it's time to go and find Mr. Bandit. It's Mr. Bandit! Hello again. I'm some front police. <laughs> Shoot, you're serious. Oh, fine. I'm a man. Do with me as you will. Shake him down! <laughs> Here's your reward. Thank you! I just spent three times that. A little over three times that. In a faulty uh, investment scheme. I'll just take it out of your hide? Oh my god, wait, we're, we're witnessing violence! Violence! Well, uh, we solved one trouble, but got another right on into it, huh? Anyway, uh, with that being done, there are still more side quests, but I'm gonna take a break from that for now so that we can mosey on and get some progress done, right? Uh, also, if we check behind this, uh, this bulletin board, we have notes. While looking for badges in Hooktail's castle, I ran to a spiffy mustached fellow. The heart-stealing thief. That's me! I have a mustache! Hooktail of Petal Meadows, defeated by brave Mario. Must have been a tough guy. That's me, Flex. Anyway, uh, now that Zesty is in there and is back to cooking, we can go to the west side of town at long last. If we go down here, we have a star piece. And if we can already see our next star piece right here. And then if we go all the way across town, we have yet another star piece. Three star pieces all right in a row. Now, as for this side of town in general, we do have a store. Uh, we have some battle items, particularly. Uh, the life mushroom is 50 coins, which is pretty expensive. Thankfully, you already have one. Uh, and there are super mushrooms as well, if you'd like something a bit more hefty on the healing side. Uh, we do also have this. It's the lottery board! Anyway, we can play the lottery. Today's winning number is nine four seven five. Oh shoot! I should have talked to you first. Uh, yeah. With new numbers every day, this lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Tell me more. Happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick numbers they might win each day. Just buy your lottery ticket here one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. And check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. When I say midnight, I mean according to your clock at home. He means IRL. <laughs> this confused me as heck. But yes, this is actually a daily IRL clock thing. Uh, once it hits midnight in your time zone, the numbers refresh. Uh, no, don't explain it. Just give me a ticket. 
Give me, give me 10 coins. Yeah, let's go. 10 coins. Let's go. I feel like gambling. Thank you. My number is 0340. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board right now to see if you won. I mean... I mean, yeah, I already knew what the number was. I definitely am not a winner. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. Your ticket isn't a winner today. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. Even if you don't get anything, you do still get a mushroom, which we can cook up into something even better. So, honestly, it's pretty worth it to do. Uh, if you are so inclined, you can time travel this. If you want to time travel this and, you know, fast forward the clock a little bit to have a few pulls on the on the lottery. Uh, that is something that you can do. New day, a new chance. That's Lucky who runs the Happy Lucky Lottery. He's a real stickler for the rules, so if he catches you cheating, I'll just be careful, Mario. Sounds good. Anyway, uh, we do have a couple of other buildings. Can we even go in here? I don't remember what's in here. What is in here? Oh, it's literally just a dude and a little dude. My wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I'm gonna go off to places I've never seen to get inspired to write or something. Ah, the writer's curse. What's up, Junior? My dad's writing a novel, but it'll never sell. Whoa, kid! It's terrible! Dude, come on, child! I think this kid lives here. He's afraid to go outside, so he spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think. But it's not our place to stick our noses in. Kids his age have so much to worry about, but don't we all? I think I'm just gonna leave that one. Uh, but this part sure feels safe. Don Pianta does such a good job of managing things, I feel totally safe shopping here. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's a Koopa up here. Standing on a, on a therapy couch. Hello, what's up? Yeah, another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, well, I am rich after all. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm saving the world. I'm saving the world. I mean, not really at this current moment, but um, you, you, I, if you're rich, you know. <sighs> my, my sharing is caring, you know. I almost fell down that grave. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to, too. All too well, and I don't want to go there. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendly in your face, Rogueport. Now that it's, you know, a great place to raise a family, but it's good for Rogueport. Far with the fountain is definitely the most restful spot in Rogueport. This area is controlled by the Pianta Syndicate. Yeah, the parlor here is totally a front for the boss's business. That's a neighborhood kid. He seems like go, uh, to like going out and exploring new places. He has some big, big feelings about this about his family. I think that shows how much he cares for them. That's actually really sweet. Actually, pretty sweet. Anyway, everyone keeps pointing at this parlor here. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to literally an actual casino. So they can't call our, our <laughs> bingo, quote unquote, bonuses slots, but they can have a whole casino in town and that's run by a syndicate no less that's fun play to win and get those prizes sure i'll go to the parlor parlor hey hey you're mario like the one and only i know all about you rescuing princess peach is important work but even heroes need relaxation so what can i show you i surely want something all right, so this is what we can get here. Uh, cake mix, sure. Uh, it's an ingredient for zesty, but we don't really need that right now. Super mushroom, which we just saw. Now, these are the two that are very interesting. We have super appeal, get more star power when Mario appeals, or refund, refund some coins if you use an item in battle. Uh, two badges that I kind of do want to try and get eventually, but I'm not particularly interested right at this current moment. Aww. I love checking my scores on the mach machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My husband is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's writing, he doesn't notice what anyone else does. This marriage seems... 
Rocky. <laughs> well, me, I'm on top of the world, baby! What is that now? You want one of those member cards that increases the mini games you can play, do ya? Oh, let's see. Maybe you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. So, yeah, help someone from the trouble board, and eventually one of them will give us a membership card, which I do want to do eventually. Uh, scoreboard, pivot card required for use! Sobs. You know, one Pianta coin, four Pianta coins. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, th that's what this place is all about. We will eventually have that membership card, but it's not anything I'm particularly concerned about right this current moment. For now, we drop down. And now it is time to explore another side of Rogueport Sewers. Welcome to a little sewer town sort of deal. This is a star piece that we grab right from out there. There are a couple more in here, but we're gonna poke around and see what we can find. What's up, dude? Man, I've never seen your face around these parts. Who are you? Huh, I get it. You're a water man above ground. Can't be seen in town, eh? Huh? No, sorry. Sorry about that. Assumptions, I swear. Eddie the Mask here, sports fan extraordinaire. Do you know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go wild, and some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. After you've jumped on an enemy, try pressing A at the height of your rebound. Oh, I forgot about that! Wait a second! Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. I actually completely forgot about that. So I just relearned something. I know I knew once upon a time, but dang, did you come here to research too? You're an adventurer? Really? Wow. It's the first time I ever heard of someone describe their occupation as an adventurer. I'm the main protagonist. What are you talking about? Anyway, somewhere in this rubble back here. Also, you can see where this connects. Uh, we, we already have been in this part of town beyond the fence, but uh, we can't. We can't get there from this side. Uh, there's a star piece. Excellent. And now, we hop into this water. This water is thankfully shallow. I can crack open this chest for a soft stomp badge. May temporarily make an enemy soft and drop their defense. Perfect. Very good. We're getting some good collectibles here in uh, the Rogue Port sewers. They're all probably covered in crap because, you know, it's a sewer. But whatever, we'll just polish it off and be good. Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. So, yeah, this dude is a uh, hint system, question mark. Howdy! My name's Wonky and I just know stuff. I mean, I look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows, the stuff I know may be, uh, maybe stuff that could help you. But whatever you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. So yeah, let's go ahead and toss some five coins. Just so that we can see what this does. Uh, it's a legendary treasure hidden beneath Rogue Port, right? Apparently it's a vast fortune of that ancient forgotten civilization. Most people think that it's just a silly old myth now, of course, but not wonky. According to my sources, it's a real deal, huh? Who are my sources? Well, I can't really say, can I? That, my friend, is what's called a trade secret. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask old wonky. Yeah, he's not worth very much. <laughs> It really isn't worth a super lot. All right. Hey, anyway, what do you have to say? This is a special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Thanks, but I think I'm good, actually. So, yeah. The, that's uh, another option that we do have. And one more place down here is another shop. With some interesting things. Uh, but they're all very expensive with the exception of these two, but I'm not even interested in them anyway. So, uh, there are a lot of different little shops sprinkled about this entire, uh, town, which is cool. But also, I always forget which shop has what thing, which kind of gets a little bit annoying. Uh, come down here and we can get a star piece hidden. And I guess we're getting hit in the back, which is great. Anyway, we're here. Uh, I'm gonna take you out. I hope this is enough. Two, 
No, you probably have like three HP, I would guess. No, not head bonk. We're gonna tattle. Uh, hello? Yeah, nice. That's a Spania. Spania with uh, spikes on its head. It looks meaner too. Yeah, three HP. Oh, uh, so sort of the same as a Spinia. Y'all will watch out for the spikes on his head, but otherwise, just wail on it. I gotta be honest, though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. Alright, so, obviously, uh, <laughs> obviously they don't do a whole ton of damage. Unfortunately, Goombella can't really do anything about this right now. Uh, let me see... No, I could have used an item, but I guess, I guess I'll just defend. All right, got a guard. I could power smash you. I do have a lot of FP and I'm probably going to get some back anyway, so might as well. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to uh, actually get into a fight here. But it is what it is. There it is. Yeah, look, and now we're all healed up back. Uh, we do have a save lock down here, which is nice. That's very convenient. But! Ho, 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 ho. There's something very interesting down this pipe that I'm very excited about. This will probably be the last thing that we really uh touch on for now yeah yeah i know it's not here i'm doing things let me get hit all right well we do have a slow mushroom now and you're also dead and i'm fully healed not bad so uh after we do that we can head up here no <sighs> there were three of them i did not have patience i just used a fire flower Okay, so we're back up here. Please stop pressing the wrong button. We want to squeeze over on this side because we can't break this yet. But we can squeeze in here, grab this, and we get a gradual syrup. And now, this is what I really wanted to check out. This room is new to this version of the game. And oh boy, it makes things a lot more simple. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. So, uh, if we come over here and enter this pipe that just got revealed to us, we get taken to Petalburg! This is our fast travel! Amazing, right? So, yeah. Uh, the, every time we clear an area or finish a chapter, we will be unlocking new pipes that'll take us to other areas that we might want to go. But, if we hit this, we also get a pipe leading back up to Rogueport. So, <laughs> quite frankly, we're gonna be in here, we're gonna be in and out of this room a lot. We can go into this pipe and just go right on up. And we, we, can, we can just go in and out and quickly access all the different parts of the world that we currently have access to. Wonderful. I love that. That is my favorite thing ever. I'm really glad that this is here. <laughs> but with that being said, we do still have just a couple more things to do before we head off to the next chapter of our story. But we are out of time. So I will see you all next time. Masainella out.